Hello, my name is Jordan Larson. My name is Joseph Hall. And this is our A51 Stream Cipher project for our cryptograph cryptographic course. Now I'm going to start this out with the main. Now the main, it's just simply asking, are you going to encrypt or decrypt? Because this is an encryptor, we do the encryption and decryption. And it's going to start with the method eintro. Now eintro is just simply asking you the phrase you want to decrypt, and then it generates the key and the nonce and refreshes the three arrays, array one, two, and three. The key is 64 bits long, our nonce is 22, and then here are our three arrays, 19, 22, and 23. We use those for generating the key stream. Here's the methods down here for, excuse me, just, yep, here they are, for generating the nonce. It's just randomly generated between zero and one. We do that 22 times for the nonce, 64 times for the key, and here, just setting these spots in all of these 64 bits total with zeros. Traditionally, the nonce is publicly known, but we are not a company. We don't have our own publicly known nonce. So for the sake of this project, uh, randomly generating works just fine. Then we're going to into getting things rolling, which is our first method here. It is going to be XORing these predetermined spots of the arrays. So the 13th, 16th, 17th, and 18th position in array 1, these two in array 2, these three in array 3. We're going to be XORing that with a key. Uh, we do that 64 times, as as the length of the key, to get the um, three arrays just nice and randomized with the key. And then we're going to do the same thing with the knots. So we're doing this 22 times. Every time, it's just shifted over. We're just going to do a right shift with all the arrays and the rightmost bit just tossed in the trash. We're not keeping it. Then we're going to do 100 rounds. Now this is uh, something similar, but we're going to be using the majority system. So Whichever of these three uh, bits gives us the majority of 0 or 1, we're going to be then um, going through all those arrays that have the majority. And it's going to be the same thing, except it's not going to be XORed with anything. It's not going to be XORed with key, the nonce, just the digits we were talking about earlier. We're going to do that 100 times. Just get the three arrays nice and pretty and ready to go. Then generate key stream, where we're going to do that another 228 times, but when we do this... We are going to be adding um, bits to our key stream, which is going to be the three bits that we toss off the end, which is the 18th, 21st, and 22nd bit in the array, which is actually, you know, the 19th, 22nd, and 23rd. It's just, you know, the first spot is zero. So, And then we're going to increase the counter key, so doing this 228 times to get a nice key stream. Then, once we are done with that, we are going to our last method in our encryption, which is plain text. Now, Joseph is going to talk about that. I'm just going to get it in the view right here. All right, go ahead, Joseph. All right, so for this method, uh, we took in a string uh, of the binary, and because people will potentially enter that with spaces in between the, the numbers, uh, I did a string in place to get rid of the spaces, and then I got a um, seven-bit result per letter of actual um, of the word, and then I chopped that up so that I could get individual bits so that uh, I could XOR it with the key stream. Um, when you convert back into an integer uh, with your binary, it takes away the leading zero because it sees it as insignificant, but it's not in the case of when we need to go back to our actual um, alphabet. So I did a for loop that will add a zero back in and give us the correct uh, binary outcome or um, deciphering. Great, thank you very much. So yes, Joseph uh, wrote this part of the code. Now we're going to go back up to the top and we're going to run it for an example. So I'm going to encrypt the phrase, hello world, my name is Jordan. And here's the output. We have the key, the nonce, and the ciphertext. So I'm going to copy and paste the three of these onto a notepad we see here. Grabbing the nonce. And I'm grabbing the ciphertext. I'm not going to uh, bother putting that on the notepad because I have it uh, uh, copied. Excuse me. Now, we go on to decryption intro. Decryption intro is essentially asking you to input the ciphertext key and nonce. Now, for this method, I um, converted everything into a string and then uh, removed any spaces. It's going to um, add the uh, each individual um, uh, bit into this one at a time with integer dot parseint so that it actually works because you can't put a, s a string into an array it has to be an integer. 
So do this for the length for all three of these, just as a bit of a rushed explanation. And that's how we're going to get everything into our arrays. Now, from that point on, we're going to be doing the same things we did before, except instead of using a random, randomly generated nonce and key, we're going to use the key, nonce and key that we inputted in our first method here. And then we're going to jump down to our decryption outro, which is down here at the bottom. So, here we're going to um, XOR the ciphertext with the key stream that we just generated to get our binary results. So that's just the plain text in binary. And then we're going to use this method here. Now this method here, this we actually, um, we didn't know how to do this, uh, turning a b array of bits into characters. So we did outsource that and we found an answer by Kerium on uh, this website link here. So props to him for helping us out with that. Anyways, we use that code to uh, turn that um, binary string into the uh, string that we needed. So let's see an example of that. Also an example, if you press something that it doesn't want, it just keeps going again, saying, hey, E or D. Also, capitals, lowercase, doesn't matter. So now we're going to input the ciphertext, which I copied earlier, and the key and the nonce. So I'm going to copy and paste that over. There's the key, and there's the nonce. And there we go. Hello world, my name is Jordan, so that is how it works. Now in A51, it does go, it does um, do frames of 228 bits at a time, it just keeps going. But for the purpose of this project, we only use a single frame. So for words and phrases, this is not for videos and images, but it still works great for our intentions. So that is our project, and I hope you enjoyed. Once again, my name is Jordan Larson. Joseph? Ah, well, whatever. He's here, I promise. And that is our video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.